Welcome to Community Matters. And today we're going to introduce um, a cooking reality show called Cooking Queen 2014. This is the second, series, uh, second season that has been introduced. Alongside me, I have a panel of guests. On to my right, I have um, a gentleman called Lab Ki Mo, who happens to be the director of the actual program. And on my left, I have an expert chef called Nas Rahman. Please may I introduce Lab Ki Mo. Lab, welcome to the show today. Thank you. Would you be able to tell me a little bit about what the actual show involves, the actual structure of the show? Okay, so um, Cooking Queen 2014 is the uh, second season of um, this, as you say, cooking reality TV show. Okay? Essentially, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the best home chefs in the country. Okay? And uh, we're looking primarily for women. Okay? Mm. Uh, women, traditionally, um, I think it'd be fair to say that uh, they, they spend, um, a lot of them are, are unsung heroes. Mm -hmm. they, are, um, they are masters of uh, their own kitchen. Uh, however, they are, um, there's rarely a platform where um, those women can um, showcase their cooking skills. You know, quite, quite often, um, a lot of these women are, um, are um, expert chefs, mm -hmm. but they don't work in a restaurant environment. Um, they, they don't work professionally. Um, they're... They, they work at home. They, they, they cook for their husbands. They cook for their um, children. And uh, this show is, um, is, is um, giving them a platform where they can show us what they can do. Yeah? And so it's really celebrating women chefs at home. Sounds really, really interesting. Um, can you tell us a little bit about when this particular program is going to start? Um, okay, um, good question. So um, this show, um, we are, um, at the moment, um, uh, we're selecting our contestants, but the show will be broadcast um, from the 1st of November. It's on a Saturday, the opening show. And it'll run uh, on a weekly basis all the way up to Christmas. So um, week by week, um, we will have heats in which um, we'll take 24 contestants. So these are the, the best 24 home chefs that we can find in the country. And they're coming from Birmingham and Luton and uh, Liverpool. And uh, we're going to pit them together in our... Um, studio, uh, kitchen studio, and uh, week by week they'll be given uh, cooking challenges, you know, and um, we will have our uh, panel of uh, celeb celebrity judges, and uh, they will, they will um, select people for elimination or, or, or cooks to uh, proceed to the next level. And in this way, week by week, um, the 24 will be whittled down to eight, and then six, and then four, and then finally we will have our cooking queen. That sounds yeah. really, really fantastic. Mm. Really looking forward to yeah. this actually kicking off. Thank you very much, um, Lab. If I can move um, next to um, Nags. Um, Nags, thank you very much for joining us today. You are an expert chef, so we're here. Um, can you tell me um, a little bit about um, your sort of culinary background? So I know that you have um, quite a lot of things that you've sure. been involved in. Sure, yeah. Over the years, I've worked in many restaurants and managed many, many restaurants, um, starting from American restaurants. So we were uh, specialising in steaks, we were specialising in burgers, um, a lot of Mexican food we introduced, fajitas, etc. Um, you know, and that goes with nachos and tortillas mm -hmm. and everything else. I moved on to seafood restaurants where we were doing fresh fish, mm -hmm. um, moved on from there to Italian restaurants um, and finally ended up uh, back home to the Indian subcontinent with uh, Pakistani and Indian food. Um, I now run a restaurant uh, and own a restaurant uh, that specializes in uh, genuine Pakistani cuisine mm -hmm. um, and we also separate that with half and half with half grill so we do peri peri chicken we do salads and we do steaks etc so yes I have a wide lot of skills along along a, a whole base of cuisine. 
So with this particular show, you must be really sort of excited to see what these sort of contestants can cook up because you've had such a wide variety of experience. Um, is there anything sort of specifically that you're looking or you're excited about uh, with regards to really, this show? We're, we're really, we're looking, just like Lab said, we're looking for uh, those women that we can empower to, to bring, in, bring in and they can showcase their talent. Really, um, a lot of a lot of obviously 100% of the cooking is done by these women uh, mm -hmm. at home. Nobody really sees it. Um, they go out to restaurants, but when we go to restaurants, we cater for uh, the generalisation of all the population. Uh, so we're looking for um, the cuisine that comes from these, the taste, the flavour, the heat of it, and making sure that we find the right contestant to go through. Okay, that sounds really good. Um, out of all these sort of foods that you have cooked, you've had the experience of, is there any, can I ask, is there any specific food that you really enjoy cooking? Is there any particular favourite? I think it's got to be the homegrown one, and that's got to, that's got to be a, a deep lamb curry mm -hmm. uh, with uh, chicken biryani. Yep. Can, okay. I, can I butt in there? Um, uh, in your own experience, is there a difference between the, um, the cooking that... Um, people from the Asian subcontinent do at home compared to the cooking that is available in a restaurant, say in your restaurant, you know, uh, in your Pakistani restaurant, um, is that a different sort of cooking? Because I come from a, um, you know, a Chinese background and um, uh, my parents uh, owned a Chinese restaurant and, you know, um, the sweet, for instance, sweet and sour chicken was invented for uh, the West, for Western people, you know, people in Hong Kong, where my parents are from, do not eat sweet and sour chicken. So sure. um, how does that work with the Yeah, Asian my side? own restaurant, we typically cater for um, uh, authentic Pakistani recipes that you would find in the home. Mm -hmm. um, however, most of the restaurants that are in the country today, they cater, they cater for uh, the English cuisine. So therefore, we've got probably one of the most famous dishes in, in the UK, chicken tikka masala. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, necessarily, you probably wouldn't cook that at home uh, because you're cooking for mostly the Western population to add cream into, in, in, into the curry. Um, so therefore, my own one is, is we keep it very, very original and we keep it very authentic that you would find in the home as well. Mm -hmm. And is there a um, is there a difference between Pakistani cuisine and Bengali cuisine and Indian cuisine? Um, not necessarily. I mean, Bengali, Bengali and Pakistanis, belong, because they pre predominantly belong to the same religion, it's all, it's all one halal food. The Indian subcontinent, where a lot of them are Hindus, and they may opt for the vegetarian, so they don't obviously eat meat. So uh, they're cooked in two different varieties. Uh, but mostly Bengali and Pakistani food will be very, very similar. Mm -hmm. um, there probably is less spice used in the Bengali and probably a little bit more sauce, uh, etc. But essentially, it's, it's nigh on the same. Now, Lab, um, we're really excited about this um, cooking program that's going to be aired on our screen shortly. And what we would like to know is um, where's the actual location that it's going to be sort of filmed at? OK, I'm, I'm glad you asked that because we're quite excited about it ourselves. Um, we managed to find a location um, in the world-famous Billingsgate Market, oh, which is not very far from the studio. Mm -hmm. It's actually in East London. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, you know, it's rife with history. And uh, so we're really... Um, pleased and proud to be there. We found um, a company um, who, who trained chefs, essentially, and uh, we've um, adapted and adopted their studio, to, to, and we will be filming there. We've converted it into a TV studio, and uh, there will be um, six stations, six cooking stations in the studio, and it'll be equipped with everything uh, one would need. And, um, and so uh, every week, um, uh, or the contestants will be set a task. For instance, um, on the first show, uh, they will be asked to um, to cook their signature dish. Okay, mm -hmm. a signature dish is a dish that um, it might be their favourite dish, but uh, in addition, hopefully, it will tell us something about who they are. You know, um, why do they why do they like that dish? Why do they like, do they like cooking that dish? Um, the second part of um, the heat, because um, there'll be four heats, and then followed by the live finals. The live finals will be inviting um, the audience at home to um, to vote in, call in, email in, 
and uh, either eliminate or vote people through. Okay, so um, in the in the heats, um, like I say, they will present their signature dish, but also they will be set a test. We will give them um, a limited range of uh, ingredients mm -hmm. from which they will have to concoct um, or, or conjure up uh, a delight. Yeah. Do you know at this stage what those specific ingredients are going to be? Or is that something I, I, that we... No, no <laughs> sure. can I put that to you? Uh, what, if you're setting someone a task, okay, <laughs> and you wanted to test them, um, what ingredients might you... What kind of power... Do you know what? I mean, uh, yeah, you, you would obviously give them chicken, mm -hmm. yeah, or, or one of the meats, lamb or, l lamb or beef. Yeah. Um, you'd give them some vegetables. You'd give them, you know, the onions, the bases, the tomatoes. You'd give them some spices and you'd give them some sauces. We might throw in uh, uh, just a red herring in there just mm -hmm. to see how, how they would use it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you know, not too much of a red herring, but we might just throw in like pak choy mm -hmm. uh, in there and j just see how they would blend that in with, with their own Indian subcontinent cooking. Um, but, yeah, essentially it will be the main ingredients. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I ask, can I put a question to you, Nags? Um, you know, I, forgive me, I, I, am, I am a director. That's my expertise. But um, So I'm not an expert on... on on cooking, I'm definitely not an expert on uh, sub-Asian continent cooking. Okay, yeah. but um, if if I if as we are doing, we're getting eight women in one heat or six women in one heat, and there'll be four heats. And if we give them the, the same ingredients, will they all result in cooking very similar food? Predominantly, yes. But what's going to make them stand out? The texture, the texture of the food, um, how oily, yeah, if that's the right, right word yeah. in, in it, or how wet uh, the, the, the actual product will be. Um, the, the ta obviously, the flavor, the taste of it, how al dente the vegetables would be, uh, if, if there are any vegetables in there. But essentially, if you've got, if you've got people coming from the same district and they're used to one style of cooking then whatever ingredients they are they probably will come out with the same thing so what we're looking for is obviously the taste is the flavor and is the density of the actual cooking okay and um for, following on from that if um uh, our contestants are from different parts of the the same country or if they are from different parts of different countries how would the cuisine then differ it probably would differ quite a lot. You know, some may not use meat at all. It may oh, be yeah. just be on vegetables. Right, yeah. uh, some, uh, some of the Indian subcontinent, like southern India, they use a lot more soups, mm -hmm. uh, etc. Um, so it probably will be, you know, probably be quite different. A lot of them may use lentils, and nothing to do with meat at all. So it really depends on how we're going to judge it. Are we going to judge on the same dish, or are we just going to judge on multiple dishes? Can I actually ask yeah. you a question um, while we're here? Um, this particular um, show um, called The um, Cooking Queen 2014, yeah. has it been inspired by any sort of other show? Um, well, I that, would you say? Well, um, I think, <laughs> you know, um, let's face it, there are lots of uh, uh, reality TV shows out there, but, you know, uh, there's basically been a, um, a resurgence and revolution in in cooking programs you know everyone loves it you know um, there are some very high profile shows out there and they do very well and and um and it, it's you know it just goes to show how how much cooking has taken off and uh, the, the thing about a cooking show is that um uh, it, it embraces everyone everyone cooks everyone likes to eat you know so it's it's very inclusive and it's very engaging mm -hmm. yeah so um now uh, this is the second uh, iteration of the show. We did have uh, Cooking Queen 2013 and uh, I believe uh, uh, in the second segment of the show you are going to have last year's Cooking Queen. Yes. yes. So um, that, that's worth waiting for. Uh, but for now you've got the two boring men. In a few minutes you'll have the two glamorous women. Okay, You, you have Honey Claria who is the presenter and uh, you will have Cooking Queen. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the other thing that I would like to ask you is, um, have you had um, sort of ex any experience in um, doing a show like this previously, or is this the first time that you've done this? Mm -hmm. This, this show? is this is a uh, this is that's a good question. Uh, this is totally new to me. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, oh, primarily um, I am a TV director, but you know I, I've directed mostly drama, 
Often. And uh, TV commercials. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. so um, it's been really fun for me because um, I've been. Uh, I was talking about um, 2013 Cooking Queen. Now um, that was the first season, and it, this is a very different animal. Uh, Cooking Queen 2013 was very successful, but it was it was quite a small show. It was a it was a um, a debut show, whereas this show is going to be um, much bigger, and the prizes are bigger and better and um, it's going to be um, the bar is going to be raised on every level mm -hmm. okay and I've I've had so much fun in the last couple of weeks designing the show because I've been given um, carte blanche yeah mm -hmm. uh, to, to do what I want essentially and um, it's 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 such great fun and and I haven't even met the contestants yet you know shows are all about the contestants um, about how much we relate to them and th this is why this show is um, is was so successful and will be successful again because this show as we said before platforms normal women like yourselves mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and celebrates cooking mm -hmm. yeah and and celebrates their lives you know and i was just talking to selena begum who was last year's cooking queen and she said that it's been very special this last year being Cook and Queen 2013. It's changed her life in many ways, you know, and it's changed, it's changed her mind, if you like. You know, mm -hmm. it's broadened her perspective. I think yeah. um, certainly a show like this is um, something quite unique because I, I don't think, well, from my experience, from what I've seen, there's been very few shows around whereby it's purely um, focused upon two different things. First of all, just women, yeah. um, but secondly, um, about the sort of Indian subcontinent. Yeah. And um, we're all sort of inspired by that cooking um, and about the food. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I love the food yeah. from the subcontinent. Um, and so this is a very, very unique show. So I think it, it, it is. You, you've good. Been, that's a very good point because mm. we, um, the demographic of the contestants are probably um, the least visible members of our society, okay? They are women, and they are women of the uh, uh, Asian subcontinent, you know? Um, they, um, quite often, uh, there's not much of a presence on TV, and so this is a great opportunity to celebrate um, that culture and, uh, uh, and f uh, femininity and, uh, and who they are, yeah. Okay, um, and and do you think there will ever be a show um, purely for men? Because um, I know that um, sort of some men do go into the kitchen. Yeah. I would like to maybe see a few more men going into the kitchen like yourself. But do you think you could put one on maybe for men? Do you think that no, might happen in the future? Do, do men think? and women cook differently? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, in restaurants, you'll always find probably male chefs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, there's very, very few, few women there. Uh, women, like Lab said, they're mainly in the home, uh, mainly cooking for the families, yeah. etc. But it is wonderful food because mm -hmm. we've all, all been brought up on it. Uh, most of the most of the chefs in the restaurants, uh, you know, up and down the country, uh, are male. Um, you know, whether that's because they've got to go out and provide uh, mm -hmm. for the family. Um, I don't really know what the issue is there. Uh, but, um, you know, the style of it is, is somewhat different. And you probably won't see both of them in, in the same, in the same <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, that's interesting because um, the male chefs that you're talking about probably got inspired to cook from their mothers. So um, there's, a, there's a sort of connect there, isn't there? And a transfer of skills and of love for food from the women to the men. Do you think um, in the, um, I know sort of certainly in the UK, um, a lot of men do sort of aspire to cook, but do you think in the actual Indian subcontinent, um, uh, you know, countries like India or Pakistan, do you think more men are starting to cook now? Or... Um, would you say that it's still predominantly the women? No, I would think I would think so. I would I would think that would you know more men are coming into it. Uh, like I say, predominantly it's women in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you go outside, if you go to the street food, mm -hmm. uh, which is very very common, uh, you know, in the Indian subcontinent, you'll probably find a nice mix of women and men 
cooking. So, you know, you'll probably go down the street, find some satay chicken, mm -hmm. etc. You might find one stall that's been run by a woman, another one being run by a man. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how different it actually tastes. Uh, but I think there are more and more men coming into it, yes. Certainly, that sounds really, really interesting um, and certainly very inspiring to sort of any of those men out there. Um, so if you would like to stay tuned, we're going to go to a break now. Um, when we come back, um, we've got two special guests. Um, we have um, Honey Calaria, who is um, the UK Bollywood ambassador, and she's going to be the presenter for the Cooking Queen 2014. And we also have Selena Begum, who um, Lab mentioned earlier, was the last year's Cooking Queen champion. So stay tuned and we'll see you in a few moments. Thank you. <laughs> 